Hello everyone, today's video is going to show you how to use Potainer to deploy OpenWRT into your Docker environment. Previously in my video, I already show you how to modify your normal home network to uh, enhance OpenWRT acting as one-armed bypassing router network. And today, I'm going to use Docker to do that, other than using virtual machine I did before. The topology is similar as last time, but uh, we got a Docker host, which is CentOS 7 machine, IP 192.168.2.11, and we will have OpenWRT Docker installed on 192.168.2.65, this IP. I already have Potainer installed and the functional right now. As you can see, Potainer is running on 192.168.2.11, port 9000. Let's start work on. First, I want to show you, if you search OpenWRT, you will find lots of Docker image from Docker Hub website. The one I'm using right now as this demo is using Sunlink OpenWRT, this image. It's a Chinese description image, but with my video, you can follow and get this running in English. By default, if you pull latest image, it will use in Raspberry Pi to B image. But for us, we're going to use in x86 underscore 64 list image for our lab environment. Since we are using 192.168.2 IP for our network, which is same network as our Docker host in. So we're gonna use in Mac VLAN this network. We have to create that first. So go to networks, click add network. And using Mac VLAN as a name, and then you can choose Mac VLAN. Here is configuration. Next step, we're going to creation network, real creation network. And now you need to find out parent network card. What you can do is go back to your SSH client session, ifconfig. It's a CentOS 7, so you IP space A, and you will get uh, your network name here. So I'm going to copy that. That's going to be your parent network card name. Subnet, we are using 192.168.2.0 slash 24. And here is gateway IP 192.168.2.1. IP range, here is tricky part. IP range is the range from your Docker network to give to your Docker. So since we already using 192.168.2.1 and uh, first probably 30 to 40 IP address, I'm gonna start it from 64 subnet and I'm going to use in slash 28, which has 16 IP inside it. Just in case you need to exclude some IPs, for example, I want to start it from 65. Then I'm going to just say some VM equal 192.168.2.64. So they will not give dot two dot six four. they just give dot six five from next one, which is, as I show you in topology, 65. That's it, then you can save your 
network configuration for Mac VLAN. After that, you're gonna create your network again. So I'm gonna do my Mac VLAN. In this step, we are not creating configuration. We're really starting to create a network. So then you can choose the configuration we defined before and then save it. That's a prerequisite for this lab. You have to create a Mac VLAN network for your Docker. Go back to containers and now we can start to add container. I'm gonna using open WRT as a container name and we're gonna pull from this depository We don't need to publish any network port since this Docker network will be the same network as your host. So all ports are going to be open to the public, basically. Now there's something we need to change here. First thing, you need to put a command. If you don't do that, you will get the error message. I will show you that. This our policy, you always do always. Runtime, you want to run it in a privileged mode. If, so as I said, I didn't change the command yet. Then if you do that, you would get an error message. No command specified. In this case, we're going to define the command. Slash sbin slash init. That's pretty much everything we need to do. Just deploy the container. It may take a while to pull the image if you haven't pulled it before. I did that before, so it, it shows much faster. But if you do it first time, then it's going to take a um, couple of minutes, depending on your network speed. It's a 158 megabytes image to pull and extract it. Next step is more important. As you can see, we didn't choose the network. So what we're going to do is, right now, we're going to join to Mac VLAN. Actually, it's my Mac VLAN. Mac VLAN is configuration. My Mac VLAN is network. We choose join network, and we can leave this bridge network. We don't need that. Now you see we got the 192.168.2.65 because we exclude 64. So that's why we got the 65. The most important part, we need to put this IP into your Docker configuration, network configuration. Connect to the console. Go to etc config folder. You can cat your network configuration you can see the IP is 123.100. What we can do, we can use in nano to change it. It's simple, change it to the 65. Gateway is top one. Optional DNS, you can use in top one as well. Control X. Save, same name, cut the network to confirm the configuration. After you confirm that, you may want to reboot your network to make it take into effect. Now you can double check. It is 192.168.2.65. You can pin yourself to make sure it's pinnable. Then pin gateway is pinnable. So the configuration has been done. We configured our Docker 192.168.2.65, which, which is able to pin our router, and it's running in our Docker. Now we can test the uh, web GUI, open WRT web GUI here. Let's um, log in the default 
password for root is password we cannot change we cannot change that uh, one thing before we can do anything else we need to change the language to english right now it's chinese let's go to the system the web thing here and uh, second menu after the web there's a third menu third tab it's a language we're gonna choose it all two we're gonna use in material you can save it and apply Now we're gonna use in material theme, which is uh, English theme, and now all those manuals is making sense to you now. That's pretty much everything for today. Um, one thing I still want to mention is, if you got some routing issue, you may need to restart your Docker, and you may want to check the route. Please make sure there's a default route set up here. Make sure your network configuration is set up can set up properly. IP address, gateway, and DNS. DNS I change it to a dot a dot a dot eight to make it um, directly go to internet. You also can try to pin. 888 to make sure it's working as well. Thank you for watching and have a great day.